Hi guys, and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. I just read on Freight Waves, they reported yesterday, that Old Dominion is going to be, be adding 1,200 new drivers and dock workers. What does that mean for truckers? Well, that means some new people might have a chance of going local, but keep in mind that Old Dominion is not completely local. So make sure that you know what you're getting into if you go apply. They're advertising that the line haul drivers, which are the doubles, are going to be about $99,000 a year. Now, when they say things like that, keep in mind that they use that average thing where they might say the top drivers. They didn't word it that way that I saw in Freight Waves, so make sure you know what you're talking about because people will hear 99000 and then they get the job and that's not anywhere near they are be where they are because based on experience. Um, also know that the P&D drivers are being listed at $73,000 a year. p and is pickup and delivery, so you're gonna be unloading the trailers yourself. I'm too fat, old, and lazy to do that. I'm not doing it, okay? Most likely, these are gonna be jobs where you're off weekends and local, but Old Dominion does have something called bag drivers that could be doubles, and they travel around the country, um, so, Make sure you know what you're talking about. Ask a ton of questions to the recruiters. And also understand that what's in your area may not be available. This is going to be something that's dependent on where you live. You have to be close to a terminal. They may say you have to be, like, say, within 20 miles of a terminal or something like that. And also know that just because it's local, you're not getting banker's hours. So a lot of those jobs are often based on seniority. So the bottom person gets on the lousy route or the night shift or something like that. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. The last I know, Old Dominion did have manuals. I had a friend that worked there and you know they were buying new trucks and they were still buying manuals so if you have a manual uh, like an automatic restriction on your license where you're, you are not allowed to drive manuals you may have to go to a CDL school and pay them a quick course to use their manual teach them teach you how to use it and then test out if that's something you want to do um, and um, you know, don't go by what you hear from people. Always double check your information. You know, even well-meaning people on YouTube could give bad information. And I've always tried to either double check things or say, you know, I'm not sure. There have been times that I've said things that were wrong and I took them down. Um, I took the videos down and then I corrected myself. So, um, you know, try to do the same thing when you're doing your research and make sure that you take notes when you talk to recruiters, make sure you get things in writing through emails and actually hear what they're saying, not just what you want to hear. That's something that people do a lot. Um, but, uh, right now we are shut down in Wyoming. I just did a reaction video to some Indian food. You know, some people ask me for a reaction video and like a first time thing. And it's kind of like, that's kind of hard to come up with. So Indian food. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, comment down below and let me know, how do you want me to handle going forward with trying to answer information with Prime? Because I never really wanted this to be a recruiting channel or a Prime only channel. And I know a lot of you are not interested in Prime, which is fine, but a lot of you do want the Prime Answers. So do you I might put up a poll to see how you want me to handle it. Do you want only live feeds to be like a Q&A on Prime? And then that way you know, okay, I'm doing videos about other things. Um, but I would actually like to get to the point where I could get other drivers coming in on the live feeds, sort of like what I did with Bees Needs and um, Captain Banana and Dirty Broke and 
and I had Travis Kinley in there that night. I would like to get drivers from other companies to sit there and explain how things work at their company, how they wound up there, why they like their company, why they don't like certain companies that they might have been to and that sort of thing. Because I'm never going to put a company down because I've only ever worked at Prime. I can tell you what my friends have told me when they went to other places, but I really, really, really don't like, um, you know, YouTubers or even other truckers that bash companies and really don't know anything about them. Because I hear a lot of people talk about Prime, about things that they really don't know what they're talking about. And it's like, just shut up, people. <laughs> And I'm positive about that. I'm positive they should shut up when they don't know what they're talking about. So, um, let me know down below. Do you want me to do live only for, like, live Prime P, like, Q&A type of thing? Or do you want me to do videos that explain Prime certain aspects? Because there are some people that say, well, I'd like to know how it works at this company versus that company. So, um, let me know. And... Our wind alert here in Wyoming is on until 7 p.m. So I'm going to be sitting here for a little while. And I figured I might as well do some filming. Uh, Maureen is going to be getting her own truck in a, in a week or so or two. I don't know. It depends on how long it takes to get a truck. But um, then I'll probably have more time to do lives and do more videos and things like that. So... Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I hope to see you out here. Chuck, chuck, chuck along. Bye. <laughs>